Hey guys, it's Kim. So today we are back again and we are gonna do another floral arrangement. This time the arrangement is gonna be for my dining room. So um, let me go ahead and start off by showing you what I bought as far as floral, floral picks go, what I'm gonna be using and kind of like my inspiration and stuff like that. Okay, so first off, um, my room in here is I've got really tall ceilings and so I like to go big or go home. That's like my motto, I'm not a minimalist. I love big showy pieces. It's, I, it's just, it's just, I'm not, I just, I can't y'all. I just can't be a minimalist. I wish sometimes I was. I know my mom will tell me sometimes that I've got too much stuff going on, but it's just what I like. <laughs> I can't help it. So um, I look for big showy pieces. And so I happened to find this swan. Um, you guys probably saw me um, show this in a recent thrift haul. Um, I actually bought this, it's kind of like an antique store when I was out with my friend Lisa. It's paper mache, it's really, really light. Um, and it was, it's big and showy. And that's why I like it, if you can see that. And what's great about it is you can see it's got an opening which it's made for something. And I chose to do a floral arrangement in this big huge swan. So no, um, most of the time I buy my floral picks at Hobby Lobby. It's not that I am opposed to shopping elsewhere for floral picks. It's just a go-to. Um, I like it when they run their 50% off sale. It's just a, a one-stop shop for me. I can find pretty much everything that I'm looking for. And they have a lot of great, great florals in there. And their prices are not too bad if you wait for things to be on sale. So I picked up a couple of these and were $2.50 after the sale. I picked up some of these blue and these were $2.50 after the sale. You're gonna notice that my color scheme, it, it tends to be more of like a fall kind of a color scheme, but that's just the colors that I'm wanting to use in here. Blue is probably the main color in the dining room, but my walls and my curtains are all neutral, and so because of that, I knew that I wanted to add some color, and so I thought the best way to add color for me would be to do it with floral arrangements. And, um, so yeah, and so I also, I just recently picked up a really big art print from Kirkland's that I've got hanging on one wall in here and it's got all these colors in it. So I'll show you that maybe in just a minute. Okay, so I picked up some more of these. You guys know that I love these. I have been using these, I guess the Renaculas, quite a bit in floral arrangements and this is the Butter Yellow again. Same thing, I believe. Okay, these were actually $3.50 after the sale. So y'all know that I love, I've told you before, when it comes to floral arrangements, I love stuff that drapes and spills over. It just adds drama. And so I always am really impressed with these wisteria, the way that they turn out in floral arrangements. So I picked up some blue ones and they are $4 after the sale. So for fun, I picked up a couple of these guys. I picked up three of them. They were $2.50 after the sale. For kind of more of like a filler piece, um, these little tiny cluster flowers, I think they're super cute. These were $2.50 after the sale and I picked up two of them. And there's quite a bit on each floral pick. And I love that color. It's kind of like a blue jean, denim -y type of colonial blue color. Okay, so I picked up a couple more of these wisteria. Um, these are more of like the darker red, burgundy-ish type of color. Um, I was gonna get some orange ones as well, but because of the next flower that I'm about to show you, I decided to opt out of orange, just because I thought I was maybe getting a little too many orange things. These are $3.50 per stem. And this is what I was talking about. I picked up three floral picks of hydrangeas in this really pretty orange color. But what's really neat about them is because they kind of tie in orange and red together. Um, I think they're super pretty. They're big and they're showy. So I picked up three of them to kind of use as like the, the showy statement flower in this floral arrangement. These are $3 a piece after the sale. So when it comes to filler pieces, I picked up a couple of these. I liked the color of them. They weren't like a chartreuse type of a green. They're more of a muted green. These are $3 after the sale and I picked up two of them. I also picked up three of these, kind of like fern. And what I like about these is they're fuzzy. So it adds a different texture to the floral arrangement, just makes it more interesting. And these are only $2 um, per piece. So this is like a really good filler piece because it's very inexpensive. And then, to add another fun element, I picked up 
a couple of these guys. They're just kind of twiggy, leafy things. These are $3.50 after the sale. I like them because, like I said, there's leaves on them. They're very natural looking, but they've got twisty, knotty, like twiggy, you know, a twiggy look to them. And I just think it's going to add some good height and it's going to be fun. And then I also picked up a couple of these twigs. I can just find my own twigs at my house, which I probably will, but I liked these because they were so they were so gnarly and so twisty. These I think are a little bit expensive. They were $9 originally, and of course after the sale that makes them $4.50. But to me, $4.50 for three little twiggy things is absolutely ridiculous. So Hobby Lobby, you need to improve the prices on these types of naturals. Anyway, so of course, you're going to need some floral foam, um, whatever you so choose to use. I just picked this stuff up. I like, um, I like these like softer -y type of foams. I just think that the flower picks go in them a lot easier. So other than having some wire cutters, um, that's pretty much, you know, all you need. You need some florals and you need a container and you need the some kind of floral foam to make your flowers stick and then you need a wire cutter. So let's get to it. As I know I'm gonna be kind of like cut off of the film. Um, my head is, but I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So the first thing I'm gonna do, because this is so deep, I'm actually gonna just use some like Walmart bags to kind of, or not Walmart, but you know, whatever store bags just to kind of place in there so I don't have to use as much of um, the floral foam just because, you know, obviously bags are way cheaper. So just to give me a little bit more height, I'm just kind of adding that in there. And plus the bags are not going to be heavy and weigh it down. Next, obviously, is the foam. And I'm probably going to end up using two pieces if I can. I've got them down in there. You can see that they're pretty stuck good in there and I'm not worried about the fact that it's kind of odd it's not taking up all the space or whatever and then if you can see any parts of it after I'm done I can always put um, moss in there to cover it up so I am going to start out with um, I think what I'm going to start out with is the big showy pieces first I know that I want to be able to see this and I've got to make sure that the whole thing looks good because you're going to obviously it's sit on my table so you'll see Sometimes I get rid of these leaves, but for right now, I'm gonna leave them on there. And because these, I only have three of them, I'm gonna kind of um, slightly form like a triangle, if you will. that for now okay I think I'm gonna actually add these guys next because they're gonna be like kind of like the tall pieces that kind of on both sides to give myself some height so I'm gonna spread these guys around a little bit just to make them look a little bit more natural and I'm obviously probably gonna have to cut some of this off Okay, so I'm also going to be turning it around some too to make sure that I am getting both, um, all the sides, basically. crazy but I think as it, it moves along it'll come together so now I think I'm gonna start um, placing all of the blue as well as the red wisteria guys so I placed all of the wisteria so let me just go ahead and show you what I did so you can see I've got a blue one on this side and a red one on this side and then on the opposite side, once again, I've got, but just opposite ways. So the red is up here towards the head and the blue is up here towards the body. And then I happen to have a third 
red one and so I kind of placed it more towards the back but I let it go a little bit higher this time instead of draping at the side I just placed it to kind of go higher um, and actually I really like the way it looks so I may play with some more of them to kind of make them you know dangle over just a little higher if you, you know what I'm saying okay so we are going to continue to work at this and it's really looking pretty so far if you can tell on film um, I am going to I think work with like the ranaculas next okay so I think this yellow is going to be really nice because the yellow is going to be like my bright pop of color with the the earthier tones of like the orange and the blue so and as a matter of fact I'm wondering if it's all when it's all said and done if I'm going to need to get a couple more maybe the yellows just to make it a bit brighter um, so I'm working towards you guys can get that it's hard to get this whole thing here Okay, so I've kind of put placing this one up at the top. So that one's at the top. And because I only have two of these, I'm going to put one towards the top and, of course, one more towards the back. With the blue, I only have two of these. So I'm going to be more towards the front and more towards the back. So that, that one I put more towards the back. And I kind of have that one going, like, pointing down, like, leaning over a bit more. It, as far as the bigger flowers go... Now let's move on to the filler, more of like the filler pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and have some fun with these ball things and we're going to place them. These guys are kind of fun, but you kind of have to separate them. You know what I mean? Because they, you want them to kind of go a little, you don't want them just all like, you know, you want to make it look like, like fireworks, like <laughs> spread them apart. See that? Okay. So now let's have some fun with where we're going to place this. I think we need to pop some yellow right here. Okay, working on one side. All right, I'm gonna come over here. You can see where I put that right in here and I'm gonna work the other side and I'm gonna spread just like I spread that one. So I almost have these yellow ones kind of directly across from each other, just one on each side. And I have a third one and so I'm gonna just look and see where I feel like I need a more of a pop of color. And I think I'm going to go out of the back side with this last one. So I got that in the back side now. I'm going to use these blue ones as another filler piece to place around. And I just kind of look and see where there's bare spots. And you know, these types of floral picks just add a little, uh, you know, little hints of color. I'll work with these ferns and add them as my filler piece. Now I'm going to add some more of these as another filler piece. I'm, and I am going to cut these pretty short just to take up some space um, because I think I'm, I'm getting plenty of a, a rounded full effect, high effect. So these are just going to be in there just kind of like to fill up spaces low where all like the leaves are showing take these I think I've got plenty of leaves going on but I got a couple empty spots still so I think I'm actually gonna use these as more of like a drape a spillover type of piece I'm gonna bend them so I'm gonna fill in I got some holes back here in the bootie All right, so the last thing I think I'm going to put as far as floral pick is just these twiggy things. Just to add a little bit of interest. All right, so I think that's it. So I'm going to give you guys kind of like a final reveal and I will um, show it to you up on the dining room table. So it looks really pretty. I probably will get some moss to kind of shove down in where maybe little places that you may be able to see some of the floral block. Okay, so here it is all complete. You guys, I just want to let you know, I did go back to Hobby Lobby and purchase some of these like off-white um, ranaculas. I purchased three of those and I did purchase one more of the orange hydrangeas just because I felt like it had some holes in it. That needed to be filled and I felt like I wanted a little bit more of a brighter color in there hence the off-white because it kind of ties into the off-white that I have going on in the rest of the room you just and ignore like the messes I have going on um, I'll give you guys a little sneak peek of what the 
hutch looks like right now, but um, that's me, what I haven't finished yet. Anyway, so I just think it looks so stinking pretty. And like I said, these colors, I think it's gonna be so easy to transition into fall because I think all I'll do is maybe either take a couple things out and add some, um, I don't know, I'll add some leaves or maybe a little pumpkins, I don't know, or I might just move it for a while and use something else here completely. But the colors are more of a, they're more of an earth tone, more of the earth tones, um, but I've got it pops, um, you know, it's just, it's, I just like it. It's just, oh, that's all there is to say. Let me see if I can step back here so you guys can really see it. And this is that picture I was talking about. Let me get a close up of that. Um, I just purchased this at Kirkland's and if you can see, um, it's got all those colors that I was talking to you about in it. It's got the orange and the off white and the blues, the brighter blues, the darker blues, the yellows, the reds. Um, and it's just super pretty. I got it on clearance. Plus I had like a coupon for my birthday and so I did not pay a lot of money on it, on a lot of money for it. And you can't really tell um, on film, but it is a really big picture. So there's that. Let me get back over here. Get you guys this one more time. Oh my goodness, I just think this is so pretty. I am in love. Super pretty. I knew this was gonna look pretty when I saw it. Okay guys, so here is my bonus video. So, um, <clears throat> I am going to make a, another floral arrangement to go on top of my hutch here in the dining room using some of the, obviously the same colors that I used in the swan floral that you just got done watching, but I thought um, that it would be kind of neat for you guys to see this as well. It's going to be just kind of thrown together. It's not going to be nearly, nearly as foo foo -y as the swan. But um, this is one of those old Crocs, you guys, if I remember that I picked up from Tractor Supply Company. And so I'm just going to throw some florals in it just to go on top of the hutch to bring some more color, those bright colors and stuff like that up there. Anyway, um, the first thing that I did, though, was I packed it with some newspapers and some bags because it's a pretty big crock and um, I want, you know, I don't want to have to sit there and I, I, you know, I want to be able to clip this, you know, clip the florals and all that stuff and not have these crazy long florals, you know what I'm saying? So to just give myself some height there, that's what I ended up doing. The only thing that I purchased, um, well, some of the stuff I had already had, I had bought it for my fireplace, what the floral that I was going to do on that, but I changed my mind. I kind of deconstructed it and just using here i did just pick up one of these though this was 750 after the sale at hobby lobby just because you know how i feel about things spilling over and so um this is pretty big and pretty long and that's the kind of effect that i wanted so i don't even know if i'm going to use any kind of floral foam in this i'm going to try and do it without floral foam so i'm looking at the front let me position this differently. I'm not using a tripod, you guys. This is just kind of a thrown together video. So I'm actually going to um, put the, the, the camera down a little bit so you can see better. Okay, let me get this closer. Ah, no, that's not gonna work. <laughs> okay, so here's the crock. Front of the crock, you can see there's the sign. So I'm just gonna kind of shove that in there to the side, and like I said, I'm not even gonna use floral foam. I think I'm just gonna use my newspaper and that's gonna act the way, that's gonna hold my florals in place. Got some blue and some orange wisteria that I use also. I don't, well, I might not have used these particular colors as far as wisteria goes in the swan, but these are ones that I had for the fireplace, but it's still all the same coordinating colors. And so I'm thinking that I'm gonna want all the spillover to be on the same side. And the reason why I'm wanting all of this on just one side is just because like I said, I just think it's gonna look the best if it's just spilling over all on one side. And I'm gonna kind of um, make my blue one kind of stand up maybe a little taller. The blue, like ranocula looking flowers, I don't even know, cabbage rose, I don't know what these are. These pretty little yellow ones, and I've got these little furry things, which I actually ended up cutting extremely short to use in the fireplace mantle, but 
ended up, like I said, not using it there. Okay, so I've got some ferns as my filler piece. Y'all know that I love these ferns because they're cheap and they have good texture. I've got two of these, so I'm just kind of putting them in there. And I hope this works out without having to use a floral foam. Um, okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and place these guys in. And do that one there. And, ooh, I do like that paper. I, I was able to shut it down in. I'll have to remember that. All right, so there's these blue ones. I hope you guys can see this. Let me see if I can get this any closer. There. All right. So I don't have to worry about the back side because no one's going to see that. It's going to be up on the hutch. So all I really have to do is concentrate on the front. Let me put some blue over here. I even I found these, um, I have these two, these little ball things. These are fun because it's just another texture. So I'm going to probably put these towards the front a little bit because I only have one of them. I love these things though because they kind of like spread out. And I feel like I've got too much blue in here. I don't know what happened, but I do have these red, so I'm gonna throw these little red ones. And I got a bunch of these, so these are so short, though, you guys. Kind of make sure I'm going to take some of them and spill one of these over too. All right, there you go. So that's it. <laughs> that was pretty easy. And you can see what, how pretty is that? Let me get closer so you guys can see that. Isn't that pretty? That's going to look really pretty on top. I'll make sure that I show you once I place it up there. But see how easy it is? You don't have to stress floral arrangements. I, I think it's lot, the, the key is really picking the right, correct floral picks. Um, making sure that you have enough, making sure that you have good fillers, and honestly, it's using a little bit of a better quality flower, floral too. Okay guys, so here it is on top of the hutch. And I am super, let me step up on this ladder. I am super happy with the way that that looks up there. It just brought some more color up there, which is what I needed, especially because my, cut, my hutch is a little bit catty cornered. And so there's kind of like a lot of depth going on back there as far as like the white, it just looks too, you know, stark white. Um, and so I went, wanted to make sure that I decorated the top of the hutch. And so this is what I have on this side. And then over there, I um, adding that crock with the flowers is just, Seals the deal. It finishes it up. It just looks so much better. Let me step down so you can see it. That is super duper pretty. I'm loving it. And it was super easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye.